Today we're in switch pockets. Uh, we got a quarter four in here. We need to switch it with the 12. All right, on the, uh, on the back of the bucket, on this side here, you'll see this pin right here. It's either gonna be a circle ring or a, uh, or a, or just a piece of straight steel here. Or switch bucket, you don't have to touch any of this, none of this. Uh, this is, you know, specifically for a Kubota excavator, but none of this. Just, this is the only thing you need. On this side over here, there's this pin. Pull the pin out. Pull the, if the uh, pin sticks, I'm going to give it a whack. Here's a neat trick too. If you set the bucket like this, and it's going to stick a little bit, you just grab hold of this tooth and just rock the bucket up, and it'll pull right out. Then, make sure you got to drop the bucket. All right, so we're going to pick up this 12 inch bucket right here. Yeah, because obviously I don't have enough buckets, but we're going to grab this 12 inch and drop this 24. All right. To drop the bucket, set it, set it down, teeth first. Uncurl it all the way, then pull it out. That's it, that's all you gotta do. To pick up the other bucket, reverse the process. Take, all right, hold, pull, take this piece here, and set it right in here. That's, that's what you're going to do on your first try if you're really good. Yeah, not bad. Alright, then curl the bucket. Kind of sort of watch, make sure that that section lands proper and that's it. Curl it up, pick it up. And set it over here. And to drop it, reverse the process. Up. Now this bucket goes where that bucket was. So. So now we're just we're just maneuvering buckets at this point. And you're gonna set the bucket down. Teeth flat. Uncurl the bucket. Lift out. And pick up this bucket. Right, curl it up a little bit. I yeah, but good working height here. What you want to make sure is that, you know, make sure that these holes right here, that's, that's the hole you need to line up. Put your pin back in. All right, here's the thing about the pin. Put the pin in on the left side of the machine so that if, it's, if it does ever start wiggling out, and it does once in a while, if it does start wiggling out like this, uh, the operator has a much better chance of seeing that happen. And so then he can just slide it in and put a new bolt in there. As far as bolts go, you can use a clip, you can use a nut and bolt. This is a gross lack of not being prepared here. Hold on. Uh, Alright, so just stick a nut in there, nut and bolt. I always go with a grade 8 nut and I double nut them. That's it. See you on the next project.